If you like the idea of a semi-autonomous robot keeping an eye on your home and also entertaining your pets, then the Enabot Ebo Air is the device for you. The Ebo Air is the latest in a line of robot devices created by Enabot, a company operating out of Hong Kong. The robots use AI and robotics engineering to address a very specific tech niche pet entertainment, connecting family, and home monitoring and security. Each of the Evo range of robots is positioned to enable owners to monitor and interact with pets and humans remotely. Using the integrated camera and audio hardware, you're able to view, hear, and interact with the environment around the robot. Plus, as an extension of the technology, Enabot is also exploring using robots to enable users to connect with family members separated by distance. However, the part of the Enabot proposition that I was most interested in was the use of the Ebo Air as a home monitoring and security device. The Ebo Air is the most feature-rich device from Enabot, taking the best features of all its predecessors and combining them into one robot. It's the combination of being a remote control robot coupled with artificial intelligence that sets it apart from nearly every other similar device on the market. Some serious thought has gone into the Ebo Air in terms of its design, however the robot is still very attractively priced at only $229. US In the box is the robot itself, which is surprisingly and delightfully compact. It measures a little bigger than a tennis ball. You also get a base for the Ebo Air to dock and recharge. It includes a sticky pad on the bottom, which is useful for making sure that Ebo can successfully return to its home every time. Plus, Enabot also includes a power brick to connect the base to your main supply. I originally backed the Ebo Air on Indiegogo, and my perk level comes with a 32 gig micro SD card included, which is necessary for recording audio and video. The robot is controlled by Enabot's Ebo app. Once registered, connecting the robot is managed by scanning a QR code from the app using the Ebo Air's built-in camera. The robot communicates with the app on your phone via your home Wi-Fi network. Later in this video, I go over the app features in more detail and explain how they all work. When it comes to the hardware, there's a 1080p camera which is full color during daylight and includes night vision after dark. There's also a microphone and speaker to enable two-way communication to pets and people around the Ebo Air. The robot maneuvers using two sets of tiny rubber tracks, which are easy to disassemble and clean. This is very useful for pet owners where cat and dog hair can clog up the wheels within the tracks. The Ebo Air owner can perform quick maintenance to keep the robot in operation. The front of the robot has a basic LED display and gives you a quick easy reference for the battery level and whether the camera is turned on. The last two hardware features of note are the small silicon feathers and laser pointer integrated into the robot. Both are specifically for entertaining your pets. The Ebo app is nicely designed and more than a little quirky. Beyond connecting robots, the user interface has a number of expected and not so expected features. The main interface is accessed by tapping on the video feed at the top. Here, you're able to manually control the Ebo Air via two different selectable interfaces, which I'll go over in more detail later. Settings enables you to connect and change your network settings, adjust the volume of the speaker, switch the LED icons on and off on the front display, and also set a do not disturb schedule. You can use the app to invite other registered Ebo app users to control your robot. I can see this particular feature being useful for couples who both want the ability to check in on pets remotely, plus family members who want to monitor elderly or infirm relatives. The media files contains all the photos and videos captured on the micro SD card. From here, you have to download them from your robot to your phone first, which can take some time based on your network speed. The security section contains monitoring features for the Ebo Air. From here, if you have the robot set up in a prominent location in your home with a good view of your main living area, you can set it to automatically record video at different times. The option also includes recording from one hour to up to 24 hours continually, making it more like a standard internet-enabled webcam. However, the more interesting feature and the main reason I wanted to buy the Ebo Air is the cruise security function. Here's where you can schedule your Ebo to perform automated patrols of your house and record audio and video at the same time. Ebo uses artificial intelligence and its sensors to roam around your home for up to three minutes. In the settings, you can have the Ebo record video footage for the entire three minutes, or you can choose to have push notifications of video clips sent to your phone if it detects a human or a pet. As a tech nerd who's grown up on a healthy diet of science fiction, there's something very fun about having your own personal robot security guard to patrol your house. You may never need the function, but it certainly entertained me. The ePet feature is an additional function that both entertains and perplexes me. Here, you're able to set up your Ebo on a schedule and it will randomly wake itself up from standby mode in its cradle and then take off on a small tour of your house. During the journey, it says it will release small skills. 
I believe it means it will perform random movements to engage your pets. Unfortunately, I've been unable to ascertain exactly what this means, so if you own an Ebo and you know the answer, please leave your insights in the comments. Another section of the app is functions. Here, you can set a number of different reminders for various reasons. Setting a reminder at a specific time sends a push notification to your phone and prompts the Ebo Air to make an audio announcement. Hi, no matter how busy you are, remember to drink water. Hi, it's time to get up and move. Hi, it's time to get up. I could see this being useful for setting up reminders for anyone not already using their phone, Google Home, or Amazon Alexa to organize their lives, especially when the Ebo Air is being used for elderly relatives remotely. This brings me to the third equally curious feature called Family Memo. Here, you're invited to schedule a note with a keyword and a message. The notes don't perform any action on the Ebo Air specifically, but you can access them via the app on shared accounts. Finally, the last section on the main interface is the tutorial library, which includes seven quick videos explaining the basic functions of the Ebo Air. Along the top of the main camera interface is an option to activate the AI tracking, which is a very cool feature. Once activated, the Ebo Air will scan the environment looking for humans or pets and then methodically follow them around once locked on. The second icon controls the built-in laser pointer for playing with your pets. The feature is accompanied with some cute audio. Moving along, you'll find the buttons for taking photos and capturing video, which is stored on the Ebo Air's micro SD card. The next two icons control the microphone and speaker functions. The first uses your phone microphone to broadcast your voice through the Ebo. The other icon controls the on-off status of the built-in microphone to hear nearby pets and humans. You're able to set the resolution of the camera feed from high, medium, or low, which is useful for adjusting depending on your home network speed. Tapping on the small Ebo Air icon brings up a submenu to adjust the speed of the robot and speaker volume. Then, on the right are options to change the user interface for controlling Ebo, auxiliary settings for stopping Ebo from crashing into obstacles, useful for avoiding getting stuck in a tight corner, fall prevention to avoid tumbling over ledges and stairs, plus the haptic feedback when using the app. The final section in the submenu enables you to choose between tracking humans or pets, and also have some fun cosmetic choices for the types of icons you see in the heads-up display. The remaining four functions are a mix of pet entertainment and a manual control for sending the Ebo Air back to its charging station. There are five pre-programmed moves designed to engage pets, plus four additional buttons outside of the dedicated pet user interface. Those functions include a turbo button, which makes Ebo Air shoot forward at maximum speed. The second option makes Ebo Air perform a little tumble. And the third button makes Ebo Air perform a tight circle, all presumably to get the attention of your pets. The Ebo Air is a fun while useful device. You can definitely see the benefits of the robot for pet minding when away from home. The different controls and add-ons like the silicon feathers make this an ideal toy for pet owners. The compact design uses two very important features when it comes to its function as a roving camera. The first is that the weight and balance of the unit is such that it rights itself whenever it hits a bump in its path. So far in every instance it's always corrected itself and ended up back on its tracks which is absolutely essential for remote controlling the robot. The second is that the Ebo Air includes a sensor to avoid tumbling over the edge of stairs and similar drops. The robot automatically stops at the precipice. The Ebo Air video and audio performance is okay. The video feed despite being 1080p is a bit too grainy even at the highest setting and the audio for the two-way communication is passable. Give me a laser. I want a laser. There's a wealth of nice little touches from the robust and well thought out physical design to the little vocalizations of the Ebo in different modes. The robot is also silent thanks to its brushless motors. Other than the designed sound effects, the unit will not disrupt your household. By far and away, my favorite feature is the AI security patrols and video recording and push notifications. I get a kick out of the idea there's a robot in my house keeping an eye on my place at night even if the probability of actually being used to catch a burglar is both minimal and not something I ultimately want to put to the test. However, one current drawback is the patrol only lasts three minutes, which isn't enough time to patrol larger homes. By design, the Ebo won't stray too far from its charging station so as not to get stranded. When the Ebo Air is unable to attain a line of sight with the charging station, it will get confused and circle the same spot for a while before it dies. Ideally, it would have been nice to have an option for larger homes to use the AI to monitor battery levels and also navigate back to its docking station even when out of line of sight. Fixed location security or just using the Ebo as a static security camera also has its drawbacks. You have to find a central position for the docking station to give you the best coverage of your home. Plus, because the robot has to be at floor level, 
and close to a power supply, you might be limited on the number of places you can place the Ebo Air. I could see the Ebo Air being useful for families with elderly or infirm relatives, however it does require all parties to be happy with a small surveillance device permanently in their home. Finally, while not a deal breaker, the ePet functions and family memo features all seem a little pointless at this time. Better instructions included with the Ebo Air or maybe app updates would definitely help alleviate the frustration to be able to get the most out of these features. As a final word, I'd recommend the Ebo Air to anyone looking for a fun device for pet minding or some simple home security. The design and features that are useful do justify the relatively low price of the robot and it's a lot of fun to play with. Thank you for watching and as always please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content on the connected home and personal technology.